breathe in here. Help me. It's like so loud. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. She's back and she's consistent. I'm sweating, but it's so loud outside, so I don't want to open the door. So I'll make this intro real quick. Okay, so the first part of this video is gonna be me taking pictures by myself. I'm gonna be showing you guys some poses and some new tips and tricks that I've learned over the last what like couple months since I last posted the last video. I'm also gonna include an influencer event that I went to in Toronto last week. So it's gonna be like a mixture of stuff. Canadian heat. We're not playing this year. So to start off, I have this cute little set. It's like a white set. These pants are way too long on me, but whatever, I'm just not gonna get my feet. And I'm just gonna attempt to do a quick little change here. Yeah, I've been hearing some voices and I feel like everyone wants to be outside now because you know, everything's open here in Canada, but yeah. Oh my gosh, I cannot breathe. I don't want people to see me naked though. Okay. I don't know why I didn't put oh I know why because it's too hot outside I'm basically wearing these like I think there's cameras here too don't look at me please okay so I got two bag options to go with the two piece I have this pink bag from Zara and this one is from Colt Spring it's a knockoff but it's actually so cute um this bag I actually wore in a picture that I took like two days ago so I might do the all white cream Giving. okay bye all right so here's where i'm taking my picture literally just a parking lot if you guys watched my last video then you know exactly where i took my picture the last time i was here okay so i have you on my tripod i forgot my second tripod so i don't know how i'm gonna yo why is it so bad Here is my phone, um, and this is the app Lens Buddy. You guys know I always use this. This is my tripod, and I'll also link that below. But today, we are gonna focus on posing. So I know a lot of you guys asked me how to do different types of poses, especially if you're shy or you just don't like being on camera. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. So first things first is setting up my Lens Buddy app. Um, right now I have it on three seconds and 50 pictures, but I just stop it whenever I'm like done and then make sure you get it all set up and then when you're ready, just make sure you click it so everything's in frame. I'm gonna insert them right here. Now I'm gonna show you guys some poses that you can do if you don't wanna show your face or if you're too shy to take pictures. When you're taking pictures, you always wanna move around. So I'm using my sunglasses and bag and I have the Lens Buddy app just going and I'm just moving, touching my hair, touching your glasses and just pretend that you're doing something. Those pictures turn out the best. If you don't want to show your face, use sunglasses and you can literally cover up your eyes. You can look to the side and just pretend that you're kind of doing something. Try to find your best poses at home like in the mirror and just practice is the key. Okay, I just finished shooting. I'm literally sweating buckets. I want to go to Harvey's and get nice tea. Even though I just went there and I got a poutine, I need to start eating healthy. It's so hot. Anyways, yeah, so I have a second fit and I'm like, do I want to shoot the second fit? And a part of me does so I can just like give you guys a different, you know, landscape atmosphere. So I think what I'm going to do is go to Harvey's, get an iced tea, drive to the second location, see if it's busy because I'm not trying to like talk to people or anything. Um, try to shoot that and then if I get it, I get it. If I don't whatever because it's too hot outside i definitely got some good content i'm definitely feeling more motivated oh, is it noisy i hope you guys can hear me because i'm not trying to refilm this bruh 
I mean, I am at a train station, but damn! Yeah, and I think I'm gonna add how to edit my pictures at the end. Yeah, because I feel like this vlog might be really short, but that's why I have the event. So, yeah. Especially Harpies, how can I help you? Hi, can I just get a medium iced tea? I'm going to show you guys how I edit in Lightroom and Facetune. So basically, I'm filming on my iPhone 13 Pro. It's my iPhone 11. Don't ask me why I have 500 phones and I should have brought my vlogging camera, but I wasn't really thinking about it. And I want this to be like a quick little one-two video, so I'm hoping the quality is really good. But the truth is, I feel like I'm kind of scared to use my camera. Like, I don't know. I feel like I'm not used to having a vlogging camera. I'm so used to doing everything on my phone, so I use it for my New York vlog, which should be coming next week. And yeah, I just need to get more practice, but the iPhone is just so easy, so convenient. So anyways, yeah. I'm gonna edit um, two photos from today. So I really liked this one, so cute. And then I love these ones. So I actually shot these in, what's it called? The point, not point three, 3X. Is it 3X? Oh my gosh, what is it called? The zoom in, the extra zoom in. And when I see why the girlies do it, like these are so cute. And then I took these like the other day, but I want to show you guys how I edit this so I can actually give you like a better editing tutorial. But yeah, so what we're going to do is I'm going to screen record and I'm going to put it over here so that way I'm not in the way. And both of my phones are dying, so I have to do this quick and then I'm going to drive home edit this a vlog and stay tuned for the next vlog which is new york and jamaica those ones are taking a little bit longer because there's a lot of footage that i have to edit and it's just been a lot recently so yeah so the first thing i'm gonna do make sure your brightness is all the way up when you're doing this that way you can like properly see the editing so i always love adding saturation like if you notice on my feet it's all colorful so i love adding some extra color so right now i'm just gonna add some saturation and then i always go into each individual color and add saturation to each color so right now i'm doing pink making everything look more pink i like the yellow to look a little bit more yellow um the blue i don't want it to be too blue but I'm going to add a little bit because if you notice, if you do too blue, then you can like kind of see it comes off a little bit weird. And then uh, this is, I'm just kind of zooming in to make sure like it's good. And then I always add some exposure so I make it lighter as well. I get this question every single day, how I make my pictures lighter and like brighter and colorful. And this is exactly what I do. I just brighten and add saturation and then make sure when you're taking your pictures, it's like in good lighting. So you don't need to edit that much. Okay, so I think I made the yellow too yellow. So I'm just gonna play around with it. And you can use that hue feature to like play around with the colors. So I just don't want it to be too yellow, but I think I'm going to increase it. Yeah, so it's like shining. Oh my god, my toes are like out of the shoe. I don't know if that's like nasty, but I'll edit that in face soon after. So yeah, I already like the picture how it is because again, you don't want to do too much when you're editing. That's when people like over edit and like do a lot of stuff there. So I might just add a little bit more pink with that saturation button. Yeah, and I think that's pretty much it. And you can also use that copy feature and like copy and paste it on each picture so it looks the exact same. And like, bruh, like it's already edited. And then I just go in. I'm gonna go into Facetune. People have the two. I don't know what it is, but when I save my pictures with Facetune 2, the quality comes out weird instead of Facetune 1. So. I always just use Facetune 1, and I think it's, like, not that expensive, so, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and go into Facetune 1. Lightroom, I think you do have to pay, but I think it's just for space. I think it's, like, $6.99, but don't quote me because I'm not sure, but it's literally the best app ever. Like, I would pay for it, like, 5 billion times if I could. 
Okay, so once we're in Facetune, very minimal. I'm just gonna go ahead and soften a bit of, like you see that kind of like dirt stuff on there? Like, I don't like that. So I just wanna soften it a bit. And if you really wanna be extra, I use the patch feature. I go in and I like legit get rid of those like little specks. And I will go into like every single speck because like I'm a perfectionist. So like all the specks have to be gone or I'm not posting it, sorry. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. Give me a second here. I also cannot breathe. Okay. Um, like the birds are chirping, so I don't want to open the door because I know you guys want to hear me. But I also cannot breathe. I cannot breathe. Okay, I'm glad that I'm actually being consistent now because I know you guys have been begging me to be, so... Yeah, next videos are coming out. I'm excited. I want to do like a mixture of vlogs and like an influencer series, but let me know every single video that you guys want from me because I'm here to be a YouTuber. I'm here to help you guys out and get me while you can, you know? I'm just kidding. Yeah, so all these speckies. Also, I know you guys have been asking me for classes, courses, and all that, and I have been working on that behind the scenes. Um, I don't have a release date, but make sure you put your email in my bio. That way, I'll send you an update as soon as I'm, like, ready to release everything. That way, you guys can get first dibs, the exclusives. Like, I want to have my own, like, group of us that we can talk, we can communicate, like, daily, so... I'm working towards it, but again, it's hard because I'm doing everything myself, but I will let you guys know everything. I'm going to put where you need to go to put your email in over here somewhere so you guys know and will be updated because I'm here to help you. Like, my purpose is literally to help you guys, so please don't be afraid to ask me questions or DM me. I know I'm pretty terrible at getting through my DMs, but I'm really, really trying, and again, it's hard when you're trying to, like, do everything on your own. That's why I need like a team of people or just people that can help me. So that is also what I'm working on. But this year is all about organization. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. So basically right now I'm going in cleaning up my like skin a little bit. Again, like you don't have to do this. This is me being extra. And again, like I know imperfections are beautiful. Everyone's beautiful the way they are. But I just like my picture to look extra clean. But not that I have any, you know, insecurities with my skin and all. But yeah. Okay, perfect. And then I always go into details and I add details to the accessories. So the watch, the necklace, and the sunglasses. Sometimes with my makeup, you can't really see it, but my lips, I like to add a little bit of details. Um, oh, my knees are always ashy, so I like to go in and soften that. And my toes are a little bit ashy here too, so I don't know if I should like shrink them or something. I don't know. Okay, so, so far I'm liking it. Um, the hair, I kind of want to show the curls a little bit more, so I'm going into detail like that. And there's just something, like, my face is fine, but, like, I like to just, like, kind of put it in a little bit. It just kind of looks a little bit more cleaner. I don't know what it is, but, yeah. And then body, I don't like to do too much, but, and it's good that this position, like, the squatting position makes you look thicker, so I actually don't need to edit it. But I'm just going to add a little bit more squat action or like booty action, just a teensy weensy bit, just so it looks more accentuated. Um, and then my stomach, I might just go in a little bit, but again, stomach on flat flat. I don't need to do too much, but you know, perfection. And yeah, it looks way better. And again, minimal edits. <laughs> As you can see, like, I edited my butt and my abs, but, like, yo, it made the picture look more proportionate. And I think if I, like, squatted a little bit more, like, deeper, I wouldn't have to do that, but I didn't, so. Uh, yeah, and for these toes, I don't know, are the toes nasty, guys? I'm gonna, like, try to zoom in and, like, get them a little bit more tiny. And then you guys are gonna look at the picture on Instagram and be like, she edited her toes. Just kidding, you guys won't do that. Or will you? You can't really see them. Oh, that kind of worked. Okay, I might go back and edit that a little bit more. And then I'm just gonna soften the background. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this picture. 
I mean, I'm putting the finished one beside it, but you guys can see literally super easy. It's all about finding the lighting and make sh making sure you have like a good quality um, phone, camera, whatever. Oh my God, all my phones are dying, so I need to hurry up. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is edit the lighting on the ones we took today. So these ones, just very minimal editing, again, because the garage, parking garage, oh, parking garages like they have the best lighting that's why a lot of the influencers go there and take pictures so i don't even have to edit my picture really i'm just gonna add saturation and exposure so here we go again for this one yeah a little bit more exposure and then saturation but again you don't want to do too much because it's very like minimal didn't want to do that and then oh the white so if i'm wearing white or cream i like to like make it more like white so i'm gonna do that mm -hmm. oh don't mind my nails i'm gonna get them done tomorrow by the way so totally forgot about that yeah it's given boss yeah i'm literally gonna start taking my pictures like this that's crazy yeah very minimal very cute very cute and then face tune i literally just go and probably clear up a little bit of my skin just like random things that are like unnecessary but like whatever and then oh my god there's a guy walking by he's probably like what the heck is she doing and also guys make sure you're in a safe area if you're taking pictures by yourself and always go in the daytime Ugh, I'm like obsessed with these pictures like what okay I'm literally just gonna copy and paste the same edit on that because I'm not trying to do on it and my phone's dying but yeah and sometimes if you copy it it might be too bright so I'm gonna like tone that down that is like the simplest way how I edit my pictures make them bright saturation exposure and making sure you already have good lighting is the key will be the end of this video um thank you guys so much for watching stay tuned for my next vlog which will be coming on sundays so i think i'm gonna start doing sundays but don't quote me but i think i'm starting to have a schedule so thank you so much for everything please let me know what you guys want to see next i really need help with some youtube ideas make sure you follow me on instagram and stay tuned for my videos bye Yo. I'm making a change today, the liquor been taking the pain away. I heard you was giving your chain away. That's kinda like giving your fame away. Okay. Which one is you? I, I can't give oh. the wrong one. <laughs> oh, sorry, me. Okay. Thank you. Wow. They're so cool. Thank you. Time is up to guess that.
that I don't 